The main focus of our group is to look at both exercise and dietary interventions as preventative tools for chronic metabolic diseases. Uh, we know that there are uh, an increase in many of the diseases in modern societies and we like to look at primary prevention through combinations of diet, energy restriction and various other interventions. We're very fortunate in that we've been part of the ACU research intensification so as far as facilities we have world-class uh, both wet lab facilities, biochemistry facilities and also uh, the facilities to do exercise and nutrient interventions with the team that we've got on board. Uh, we, I guess one of the strengths of the group is that we go from both molecular cellular to whole body physiology and there's an emphasis now to look at the human as an integrative whole rather than the sum of the parts. So one of our main strengths and where I think we have a, a leading edge and competitive edge to, to some of our other uh, rivals in the field is that we can go literally from cell to whole body and integrate that physiology and more importantly translate it to results for the community and for the individual. Well there's a long list of collaborators from, uh, from various countries but our main source of funding at the moment has been from two main sources that's the CRN, the Collaborative Research Network grant where we've partners with St Vincent's Hospital and Melbourne University and also with our partnership with the Novo Nordisk Challenge Foundation where we're partners with the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm in Sweden and also we have partners in the US at the University of California. That grant as I say is, is aimed at preventing diabetes and the series of studies that we'll do there are aimed exclusively at trying to change people's attitudes to exercise, trying to prescribe the right exercise, trying to look at the molecular mechanisms whereby we can get away with doing the least exercise possible for the most benefit. In other words, turning back the clock on diabetes pathogenesis.